Uh, I, th I thank the government and the people of Italy for the warm welcome and hospitality accorded to myself and my delegation during this visit. I also recognize the great effort of all IFAD professionals who have made this meeting possible. The theme of the year, Accelerating Action for Food Security, is both tragic and timely. It is tragic because in this day and age, when our world is richer, more technologically advanced than it has ever been in human history, the United Nations 2022 edition of the State of Food Security and Nutrition in the World Report shows that the number of hungry people was rising to as many as 828 million in 2021. Billions of people could not and still cannot afford a healthy diet and a women and children, as is sadly often the history, remain the most vulnerable to the acutest form of hunger. I'm truly tired of these terrible statistics and painful stories and my government is determined to do something about it in Somalia. This is why I feel very strongly that this IFAD meeting is timely as it must re-energize and refocus our passion and determination to turn the tide sustainably against the unnecessary hunger once and for all, despite all the challenges that exist today. In Somalia, we are taking food security very, very seriously. In fact, I have stated many times before that food security is a fundamental part of national security for my government. In this sense, the old saying that a hungry person is angry person is correct because of lack of food. Hunger and deterioration of the conditions to make agriculture a viable economic opportunity like in the past has played a major role in the prolonged local conflict and spirit on international terrorism, terrorist group Al-Shabaab to create spaces for which they control, radicalize and subjugate parts of our rural population, particularly the young people. We are now responding fiercely with successful military offensive, which is liberating most of these territories from the terrorist group. But we have the challenge of rebuilding a hopeful future for a truly resilient and deserving people with a strong innovative agricultural base to address insecurity, food insecurity, and sustainable development. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, accelerating action for food security is central to the survival and prosperity of the world in the 21st century. The war in Ukraine has very painfully illustrated that food security is an international challenge with complex global supply chain with regional concentrations. For nations like Somalia and most other nations which import most of their key food items must adapt to survive and feed their population going forward. In Somalia, over half of our population is food insecure today. And this includes the most vulnerable in our society, including women and children. As the fourth consecutive rainy season failed, many rural communities lost their livelihoods. Food prices increased, and the drought induced humanitarian crisis worsened. While we still need emergency humanitarian assistance to avert the worst of the drought and hunger today, I strongly believe that in Somalia we can be food secure in the future. Somalia has abundant land and agricultural opportunities within our own territory and with a young population and a history of agricultural production which is almost 65% of our economy at present. We have real opportunity to make food security a genuine reality in the ground. Food security as an overarching policy goal complements our government's wider vision 
of a strong, united, and progressive Somalia. And a progressive Somalia at peace with itself and with the rest of the world. All our major policy priorities today, whether it is security, economic reform, and recovery, basic public service delivery, and job creation can all be achieved in through and with the agricultural reforms and investment that we are pursuing. Ambition is a good starting point to accelerate action for food security. But we realize that action must follow quickly to capitalize on the national and global momentum. In Somalia, we have clear direction through our food and agricultural delivery compact, and we have started to take action by committing, strengthening our agricultural policies and processes, accelerating human capital investments, and refocusing our collective effort on achieving sustainable socioeconomic development with, re with real impact on our people's lives. Our focus is supporting smallholder farmers, pastoralists, and agro-pastoralists to revive their land and turn them into a thriving businesses which provide food security for the wider rural communities and Somali nation while producing enough to both consume locally and sell in the, inter in the international markets to turn profit. In this regard, Somalia's vibrant private sector and growing financing institutions are all supportive of agricultural investments to modernize the sector, and many have started working directly with farmers, especially women and young men, in, to re-inject hope and opportunity into agriculture. We are also actively encouraging all our bilateral and multilateral partners, including IFAD, to support us in reviving agriculture for food security, peace, jobs, and prosperity. This is very important at a critical time of our country and will most certainly contribute to accelerating food security in Somalia. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Somalia is a rich country in terms of land and marine, and marine resources, which should make our country a food basket and, and not food insecure. However, our major obstacles to achieve food security have been three major things, conflict, climate, and sustainable national debt and arrears. On the matter of conflict, we are now, as I informed you earlier, focused on defeating the international terror group at home, together, with one, together as one people, alongside our international partners. The Somali people have answered our government's call to stand, our government's call to stand together to defeat the evil of terror from our land and have organically mobilized and are actively supporting the government security services to liberate their territories. These newly liberated territories include much agricultural land which needs investment and we are hopeful this can be happened soon. The reason for our optimism, the reasons for our optimism are many, but at the forefront is that we are progressing steadily through our debt relief program and hope to reach the completion point of the World Bank and IMF highly indebted poor countries initiative by the end of this year. We hope that this will unleash a greater number of national and international potential resources to invest in our food security, and this will help our government accelerate the push through real tangible investment alongside all our partners, including our friends, IFAD. Climate change is a real challenge in Somalia, and we need to put in place mitigation and adaptation measures that help us all to overcome the recurrent climate-induced crisis and shocks, including better water resources management, floods management systems, and soil erosion. We have, for the first time, created the Minister of Environment in Somalia to lead in these key areas, and this is evidence of how seriously we are taking the need to address this existential threat to our fragile food system 
and whole way of our life. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad to say that Somalia's arrears with IFAD are now cleared. Thanks to the generous and timely support of governments of Germany, Belgium, Netherlands, and Italy, I say thank you very much. Now, with this new start, IFAD can deepen its engagement with Somalia as we are able to access all the available services from this great institution. I again appreciate and welcome the new re-engaging of IFAD to Somalia. I thank you.